It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, what's going on? Today I'm taking a look at one of the games in the Paco Game series of games. And today, the one we are taking a look at is Bus. Uh, this game, as you can see, is the, a, a tiny little deck of cards, 30 cards, and they are half size, so they look like a pack of gum, hence pack of game. And the whole set comes with eight games. This one is a pick up and deliver game, actually, which is very interesting. It's one of the few, if not the only one, that replicates a board on the table using these cards. Let me just show you what I mean. Here's what the game looks like uh, set up. This was all put up randomly. And then we are going to shuffle up these passenger cards and you're going to reveal two of them. The passenger cards, as you can see, have two passengers, number of victory points, and a speed limit. I'll talk about all that in a second. In the game, you are basically trying to uh, use your bus, which looks like that, and you are going to be picking these passengers up and taking them where they want to go, and whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game is the winner. The way you figure out who the winner is is after five cards have been scored then by anybody, then whoever has the most victory points wins at that point, okay? So, uh, at the beginning of the game, you pick a star player. In this case, I'm going to do a game with two players. I'm going to do... That bus and this blue bus, okay? The game can play up to three. And the star player, let's say that's me, I am going to play my bus anywhere I want to, like so, and then take a passenger card and put it over here in front of me somewhere. And then this will be replenished. I could have also taken, instead of one of these two, the top one. And then this player will go and they will put theirs uh, hmm, let's go here, and they'll take this one, and then you are ready. The way the game works is on your turn, you are going to be able to move your bus as far as the speed you have, and if you have multiple of these uh, passenger cars, then the lowest speed. So I can move my bus twice, and I am going to, on my turn, I'm going to move it once, it has to go the way the bus is facing, it's going to move here for one speed, and I have now gone to the red section, dropped off this red passenger. The way the game tells you to keep track of this stuff is just to note that one side is not dropped off, and the other side here is dropped off. And so what I would do is I would just play the card like that, reminding me, hey, I've already taken red in, but not green. That was one, this will be two, and I'll go here. I don't have anyone who's yellow, so I'm done. Then it's the next player's turn, and their speed limit is three. They want to take blue and orange. All right? So they are going to go one. Orange is done. I'm going to put my done orange here for now. Uh, one, uh, two, three. They've now delivered orange and blue. This card is completely done. And once you've, if you have no cards at all, then on your turn, you have um, no speed limit. You can go as far as you want to. Oh, this card is upside down. I'll talk about what that means in a second. And so now that player would go. I would move once here, complete the card. Um, yep. And then let's say I move again in here. And then when I stop at a place that says bus on it, then I get a new passenger, and I'm going to take a, I'll take a blind one. Okay. And then this player can move as far as they want to because they have no passengers. And so they would go to one of the bus places and pick up. They could go here, pick this one up. This one's ready to go. And then they, the, you know, that's it. Then the next player's turn goes. If you pick someone up, that's, that's the end of your turn. There's one more option on your turn. If you ever stop here, that has that little reconstruction symbol, then you can flip your bus over once, showing that you can no longer ever do it again, and you can switch two streets. So you can do, you know, that, and make yourself a little more efficient. Once a player, again, has five of these, 
has scored five, then you figure out who got who has the most points. And let's say I've scored these, then my score would be five, eight, uh, twelve, fourteen, sixteen points. Okay, and that's it. That's how you score it. Whoever has the most points is the winner. Plus, is the one game in the whole lineup of games here in the in the, in the pack of game series. That surprised me the most. It's the one I expected the least, you know, because you build a board and then you, it's a pick up and deliver game. You're moving around and, and picking up passengers and dropping them off. And it's such a, a tactical game and it's so dense. The game's real quick. I mean, the, the, the package here says 15 minutes, okay? And that's about right. I mean, it's, it's lightning fast. And so a, a single wrong choice might burn you, you know, and, but, but it's a brilliant idea to put a pick up and deliver game in this tiny little box and it works. It's unbelievable. I have been ranking all these games in the line of games from one to eight, one being my favorite, eight being my, my least favorite, and this one's number five. Now that's not bad. Every game in the series except for the for like the last two I think have been really strong. So while this is not the best game in the in the line here, it is a solid game and it's one I'm I'm happy to play. I think it's interesting. I think players that like pick up and deliver games are going to get a cake out of such a tiny package giving them an interesting pick up and deliver game. And even if you're just the kind of player who likes puzzly games, who likes sort of looking at the board and figuring out what the optimal move for you to make is, then I think you're going to like this one. Bus, really interesting game. It kind of stands out from the line of games, and uh, I got to give it props for that. Really cool, very well done. Bus. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.